You gonna kiss me before we go live? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It says we have an excellent connection. Hello. We have no friends. Look at, wait, nope, I lied. Bethany says, ringers are rung and the mods are here. She always starts out with, hello, my loves. Good morning. Good morning. Shoot me a little note and let me know if my um, microphone is picking everything up okay. Because I'm trying not to yell to cause static. Echo. Whatever, same thing. It, it went from one viewer to 23. Oh, okay. okay. So something bad happened. <laughs> no. I'm like, it's Monday for crying out loud. Um, I can, How's everybody doing? Um, LKI says hi. Carson says hello. Hello. Gail says good morning from California. Music Monday. How are you two doing? No school run today, so I get to watch the live while in my comfy bed. Oh, fine. Yay. Spunky Deb Nash says hi. Whoa. Emma says... Greetings, beautiful people. Hello, hello. We have a hi, sir. Good afternoon from Germany. Hello. We have a Steph nerd who says morning. Good morning. Hello. I don't think this one's going to take oh, very long. Oh, oh, Cosmic Mona says hello. Can somebody tell me who Kiss is? <laughs> so Kiss was a band from the 70s that I grew up in, grew up with. And they used to, they were rock and roll and they wore makeup. And they looked like... Way back in the 70s they did that, people. This. So, oh, Nixie is here and says, I hey, thought howdy, hey. We've had a few requests for Kiss, and who am I to deny that? Kiss was one of his favorites. <laughs> Steph says, oh, I like how Donna sounds very nice. I am about two inches from the mic, if that. <clears throat> Annabelle says, you inspire me so much. Thank you. By the way, everybody, despite my better judgment, I am trying the Strathmore $2.94 paper again, only because their faces are pretty much in black and white, and so I'm not really worried about the watercolor not saturating. So what color do we anticipate today? Black and white. And Payne's gray. I don't know how much, yeah, a little bit of Payne's gray, but... Don't lie to the people. Don't we lie to our lie. friends. Pain's gray. Um, I'm watching this while painting Killer Moth from Batman. Oh, nice. Um, hi, Scott. Love your work. What's your favorite Kiss song? Oh, um, it might. Right now, just in my head, is Shout It Out Loud. Hello from Romania. Hello. KK McMurray says, hey, I'm a big fan. Do you like the band Man of War? Uh, I don't think I've heard of them. I mean, I think I might have heard of them, but. Kiss is one of my favorite bands of all time. Katie says, been watching these with the kids. I nanny recently and they love it. Oh, that's great. That's so awesome. Thank you. Do they like to do um, art with you? We have an Ellen this morning who says good morning. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, friend. I hope you feel better. She has a little cold from... Got the schmutz from, yeah, the, uh, from the trip. The schmutz from the trip, yeah. Hi from New England. How do you paint alcohol with watercolors? Well, you find your favorite bottle and you draw it. You mean like, how do I draw like a bottle of beer or something like that? I don't or... know. I don't know. Uh, Giotti, uh, can you just... Any particular kind of alcohol? Is it yeah. in a glass? Is it in a... Yeah. I'm thinking it's a wine bottle. <laughs> Paperboy. <laughs> That's my first live I'm here for. Love from the UAE. Oh, thank how you. How are we today? Yeah. Good grief. We went to like, we have 423 friends now and the chat is a uh, jumping. Good. Uh, Hello, good morning. everybody. How are you all doing? Oh, Sarah Animations is here. Good morning, Sarah. 
Did you just read my comment? Yes, I did. Let's see. Oh, she loves you. Oh, my God. Metallica, please draw Motley Crue. Yes. God, they're so funny. Watching while painting Green Lantern. Love your work. That's Bray. Uh -oh. Thank you. Kids J says, Scott, you're my favorite artist ever. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I'm watching this while trying to find a muse for my new drawing. What rig are you using to hold up your camera? Um, just the kind that you get uh, off of uh, Amazon for like $14. You attach it to your uh, desk. They're kind of wobbly and I'm not happy with them. I feel like Donna is doing an ASMR. I'm trying to do my announcer voice. Well, she keeps her, because you know, she's only maybe 10 feet from me in the hobbit hole mm -hmm. and so and she's pretty loud and so what happens is that the mic i am not you are the mic that i'm next to which is the webcam picks her up too so mm -hmm. she gets reverb yeah and that's caused some issues so scott gave me the mic that's at his desk that he uses to record on and i'm trying not to be Cornflakes Toasted says, can't be that old. How do people not know who kisses with an unhappy <laughs> face? <laughs> oh, God. Stefner says, sounds like a radio host. Like it. You're so yes. funny. I'm a huge kiss fan. I um, used to draw them every day. Like I was, you know, like I knew how many swoops and Gene Simmons is, you know, thing. And it, it just... I used to draw them so much that it is it does feel a little weird going back and drawing them now. Uh Terry wants to know if you're gonna start drawing on forty fives again, or is this just for now? I I think I my my time of forty fives is done. Oh um, no. just because I that that darn hole in the center and I I looked and I could not find something to kind of like close it up with? Yeah. So by the way, Marguerite says hello from British Columbia, and yours dearly says hello from the Philippines. Oh, great. Still, so this is still 45. Good. This is the little thing that goes in the middle of it, because all you really need is that hole right there. So, so now when you look for something for the 45, what they have is... like a little swoopy thing. Oh, this is like a horrible thing with a hole in the middle, which is stupid. So it's like, don't worry, I drew it on a piece of paper. I want something that is this with a little hole in it. And then that way I only have to contend with the little hole. If that's what I'm looking for. And I could not find one. So I thought, okay, if I could do that, then I've got a, you know, I don't have this big hole in the middle. So anyways, that's what was bothering me. If I come up with a solution, then yeah, I might start doing Can that again. I just again. tell you, thank you for saying that there was a piece of paper in there because you scared me. <laughs> I was like, what they doing? Okay, so I, the comments are just jumping all over the place. But we have a question mm -hmm. from, I forgot my name. Hi, I wasn't able to ask a question on Friday, asking it now. Did it ever feel awkward to tell someone, probably an older family member, that you are an artist? No. No, no, no. No. I mean, that, uh, I was never brought up in a family where that was in any way shameful. So it never occurred to me that someone might be embarrassed about being an artist. Maybe embarrassed for marrying an artist. Well, that's on you, not me. <laughs> My family, yeah. Uh, did not understand the art world. Um, oh. Corey, I am sorry that you lost your friend. That is very sad. But we send love. Um, Scott has drawn in cartoon style. He has tried to do that several times. I drew mm -hmm. that My Hero Academia mm -hmm. chap. I drew yeah. uh, Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. I have Say good drawn... morning to Jamie. Huh? Say good morning to Jamie. Hey, good morning, Jamie. 
and say good morning to Greece. Hey, Greece. Apparently the whole country's here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Betty's bestie says, I grew up listening to Kiss. You're so inspiring. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I did too. It is 9, 10 in the morning here, central time. And we have friends in Indonesia and it's 10 p.m. where they are. You are my favorite Welcome. artist, says Darth Jar Jar. <laughs> Thank you. I really, really, really they want to know wishing that we had some music. I know. It feels a little a little static. Yeah. Um let's see. Are you gonna do Elvis? They want Metallica. Yeah, yeah. I mean I I, I actually don't too. mind the uh Music Mondays is kind of fun, and uh, but there's you know I'm I'm just kind of picking and choosing. Um, um. So, uh, any recommendations for watercolor paper brands? Didn't you do a video on watercolor paper? I did. Um. So, I, I would say something like the Strathmore would be the least of it. Mm -hmm. Like you know, um, this is. Cold press, mm -hmm. it is 140 pound or 300 GSM. Mm -hmm. That is the bare minimum that you want to do. The thing is, is that with this paper, I don't even know if it has any cotton in it. Um, it, it it's it's just not great paper. Uh, the Canson XL paper is very similar to it. It doesn't absorb the, the, the watercolor very well, but it's better, it's the, the that would be the basement. Like use this kind of paper if you can. Then you have stuff that is like Canson's uh, Aquarelle, 100%, uh, you know, it's 300 GSM, 140 pound as well, uh, cold press, but it is 100% cotton. If you can ever find 100% cotton, which is always gonna be a little more expensive, but if you can mm -hmm. ever find it, get that. Um, Gravy sent us one, it's 100% cotton, I don't know how much it is. Did you ever find out? Oh, I did not find okay. out. Okay, so this look. might be a little cheaper because Grabby does make their stuff a little more affordable. Um, and the paper's actually really good. But this is after you've learned a little bit, you can move to 100% cotton paper. Like I worked with like this stuff for the first 10 years. And then I discovered the, the nicer paper. Paper. Let's see. Let me see. Honey, if it's I can okay. Find it's it okay. Really quick. Does it have oranges on the front of it? Uh, yes. Of it? Oranges okay. and lemons. Oranges and lemons. All right. So right now it's at 15 sheets in the pad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a 15 sheets, it's a 140 pound watercolor pad. Right now it's $11.99. Okay. It's on sale. Which okay. is not bad. Mm -hmm. um, uh, again, my my favorite is the Be Creative mm -hmm. sketchbook, which I think gives you thirty pages. Yeah, and so. um, and that's fourteen ninety nine. That is my favorite. Oh, Katie says the kids love doing art with me. We usually do a craft while we watch. That's so. Oh, cute. that's great. Hey, Happy Lonesome is back. Hey, Happy Lonesome. How are you guys doing? Um. Have you painted Michael Jackson, honey? Oh yeah, a couple times. Um, Gobi Draws apparently has been asking for 31 days if you could do Cobra Kai sketchbook cover. Will you ever do it? Cobra Kai? I have not mm -hmm. seen Cobra Kai. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't, e I haven't either. I won't say never do it, but I, it's not on my radar just, just now. Okay, so Madeline Hamilton. Hi, Madeline Hamilton. <laughs> When did you start drawing so good? You're so good. I don't feel like I've ever learned to draw very good. Um, I, I'm still learning mm -hmm. and um, I hope one day to be good. Um, now they want Guns N' Roses. So to answer Madeline's question, I was not ignoring you. The chat is on a delay. We are on a 60 second delay because there are 404 of you right here here right now and if I don't 
we get a lot of spam in the chat and then I can't read comments and then it becomes a big mess. So, and it's Monday morning and you don't want me to have a headache on a Monday. I mean, that's not fun. So we do slow mode. Um, what type of pencils do you think are best for drawing? Uh, it depends on the type of drawing that you like to do. So like I, I use a number two pencil a lot and uh, that's just the kind you get at school and you can draw very light with them or you can draw very dark with them. So they're number two, they're the equivalent of an HB. They're in the middle. Um, I When I draw for my watercolors, I use a 4H pencil, which is really light, as you can see. And then um, I don't think I have one here, but there is the B pencils. By the way, there is a, uh, a, video, a video on, on the different pencils, mm -hmm. yeah. And yep. um, yeah, uh, all I have is the, the harder pencils here. But then you have the softer pencils, which are easier to smudge and they're darker and they're mm -hmm. softer. So you can try that. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely, um, oh, here's a B pencil. Oh, is Erica here? Good hey, Erica. morning, Erica. So you can Erica. see that's a B pencil there and that's is. an H pencil. There is a video on that. So it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. Oh, Corey, I am so sorry. Yeah. What'd you do? Corey's friend passed away and his oh. funeral is later today. I'm just so sorry for you. I, I I wish I could give you a hug. Funerals are just about the crappiest thing on the planet. Yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, not not good. Um, okay, so if you, John, if you want to show us your, your drawings, we have a Discord. You can show us in there, but you have to be nice. That's the major rule of the Discord. Otherwise... Mama Donna will boot you. And um, we just want to make a nice place for everybody to hang out. Um, so everybody is like, they're all about the art supplies this morning. So we want to know what pen you're using. We want to know what pencil you're using. This is a zebra using. brush pen. It is waterproof, which means mm -hmm. I could do my water, my inking now and then go over it with watercolors mm -hmm. later. And it won't bleed. Yeah, yeah it won't bleed. Mm hmm that's why he uses the waterproof pen, because it doesn't bleed. I love your videos. I'm also doing art myself. What tips do you have on layering alcohol markers? Oh, I've got this one. Scott did a fantastic painting of Lizzo. And you need to go and watch the live version of that, because you can, I was watching on my computer, and you can watch the, literally the marker strokes blend in with one another. And it's fascinating. So Mushroom 204, go check that one out. Plus, there's a whole playlist on markers. There, there is. And thank you for making that, by the way. It makes it easier. Mm -hmm. um, now, all of you asking for, so many of you are asking about art supplies this morning. There is, on our website, there is an art supply list. Actually, there's two lists. One is art supplies that Scott uses. That's all his favorite things. And the other one is art supplies that we've tried. So you can check both of those out. All of the markers that we've tried, all the paper that we've tried, everything is there. But Scott's favorites are in the other list. Will you ever do a video comparing the Grabby and Windsor and Newton travel kits? Um, I'm trying to think if I did already. I did. Uh, I um, Not the travel kits, but just the paints in general. I painted Wednesday Adams with... Uh, one oh, time with did. the Grabby set. That's right. And one time with the Windsor and Newton, um, Windsor and Newton set. Yes, we're drinking tea this morning, so if we take a moment, give us, give us a sec here. I'm done. No, no more delays for me. I'm not. I got a quarter got of one cup and another giant cup, and, and I'm not yeah. done. Um, what do you do as a hobby other than art? Well, I, I'd like to say I play games because um, I, I like gaming, but gosh, lately in Overwatch, my son and I have just been horrible, mostly me. And uh, so we've been switching over to WoW, and you know he just kind of oh, flies son, me to different. He's uh, chaotic. He's just chaos. In that yeah, game. he's hard to keep up with. Yeah, but he's um, just everywhere. You know, I, I'm waiting for the um, the new Zelda uh, game. What is your favorite uh, musical artist? Um. God, I have so many, but right now I just I, I think my favorite is Seal. 
I'm just on a seal kick right now. He is indeed. Um, Wonderland Unicorn. I would like to be a plant person, but I kill them. Also, if there's mold on the top of the, at any point on the top of the dirt in the plants, I'm allergic to mold. So I don't really keep plants in the house anymore. Oh, it's Bree from the Philippines. Hi, Bree from the hey, Philippines. Hey, how you doing, kiddo? Best paper for markers. I'm going to jump this one and say Ohuhu paper. Yeah, the Ohuhu sketchbooks just really... Mm -hmm. I did a whole series on the best papers for markers. Yep. Um, again, look for the marker uh, playlist. But um, then Ohuhu said, well, try this. And I was like, really? And then it turned out to be really good. Yep. And they're really not that expensive. And there is a code in our... Um, website on the resources page they're giving you 10 percent off i know it's not a lot but 10 percent is 10 percent. so and they re they really don't go on sale in other places and anytime i tell you this we're not getting a kickback from them we just ask them for a discount code for you guys yeah. so um we're getting paid from advertising and stuff so we we really don't want to take any more than we than we need to um Hi, Scott. My name is Ian, and I've been working on realism and color pencils. Can you please give me any tips? Hi, Ian. Um, definitely photo reference is your friend, um, so I would focus on that. And uh, colored pencils, you are going to want to push down hard to get those colors to blend. Um, if you are spamming, the mods have been asked by myself and Scott to time you out on this because it's just a lot of work to moderate. also doesn't make the experience very good yeah. for everybody else especially people who want to ask questions um so um let's be nice and not spam this morning well, just remember there are other people who mm -hmm. want to get their comments read too yeah um do you use any nib pens or do you stick to the zebra brush pen that's yes I, I just use the zebra brush pens um i found something that i really like mm -hmm. they're portable they they're waterproof. They're mm -hmm. everything I want. And um, so I'm happy with them. Are Animal Crackers and Spider-Man the only shows you've animated or had any part in the production of? Uh, <laughs> it's no. complicated. You're so cute. No, it's, um, nope. I did uh, Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. um, I Casper. Did Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah, the movies. Mm -hmm. uh, so many video game. Yeah, I worked on like cinematics. commercials for Star Wars, mm -hmm. for Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Um, I did uh, game cinematics for Aliens vs. Predator, mm -hmm. X-Files. Yeah. Um, um, oh, a timeout means you can't comment for like a couple minutes. Um, let's see. So many people have questions. What's your favorite pencil to use? A 4B, a B, a 2B? Um, it's not a B. It's, it's an H. I, it, it well, I mean, I don't like drawing with the H. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't. Um, it's it's the uh, that's the necessity of doing the watercolors. Um, sketching, I I actually I really enjoy sketching with. Um, I like the feel of these watercolor pencils. So um, that's why you know, like if you see the, uh, the sketches of like Harry Styles and Prince and whatnot that uh, we had up on the store. Um, they're done with these because I just they're they're soft. It's kind of like a sketching with Prismacolor pencils. Have you ever considered doing a series where you review your subscribers' art and give some constructive criticism and some invite advice to improve our art? No, no. I I I personally always hated that part in school where we would put our work up and the teacher would credit. Uh, you know, critique, critique. it. Mm -hmm. I, I hated it, so I would never want to put someone else through that. Um, I, I just... I, here, here's what I think. Um, if art was binary, like uh, sports, you know, you got to score a goal, to, you know, to, like you, you can't get a point otherwise. You got to score a goal. You know that that's the only way. To, then, then I could see doing that. But art is so many different mediums, so many different styles. 
um, you can tape a banana up on a wall and call it art and sell it for a that's million my, dollars. That's my least favorite example. I, but what I'm saying is you could just put a big dot in the in the center of a you know giant canvas and it's and it's art. So to tell someone how to make art seems really silly because there is no one way to make art. There is no best way to make art. Um, to say that, well, you know, what about my anatomy? How about this? Look at the look at Picasso's stuff. His anatomy was all over the place, and he knew how to do it. If you look at his earlier work, he knew how to draw. He just he changed so his it, style. it seems futile to to give anybody advice on art. But if someone came to me and said, "Hey, I'm having a hard time drawing this. How would you tackle this?" and I would say, "This is how I do it." You see what I'm saying? That's what we did when we went to Venice was mm -hmm. we were sitting around, we were drawing a building and someone was saying, I'm having a hard time drawing these people standing in front. Mm -hmm. How how would you do it? And I said, okay, this is how I would do it. Mm -hmm. And and that is the only way I feel like I can help somebody is by saying, this is how I would tackle it. But, you know, but I just don't see, this is why I don't like to call myself a teacher. I don't see um, the benefit. Yeah, I don't see the benefit, but I also, I, I just, I'm not of the mindset of here's the the way yeah. to do that. Yeah. I, I, I just can't. I, 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 I'm I sorry if you wanted that from me. I just don't think I'm capable of it. Um, we have not tried the menorah sketchbook. I just pulled it up on the website here, and there are so many tools that we have not tried because there are just a bazillion different art supplies out there so we i mean maybe someday by the time we're 100 we could try them all yeah. but right now we have not tried them all but thank you um for mentioning that and i can reach out to them and say hey you know maybe you could send us a sketchbook and we'll try it or maybe if they're reasonably priced enough we'll we'll pick one up and try it um do you ever get noodle hands where there are just days where your hands just decide not to cooperate with your art because I have noodle hands right now. Yeah. That's happy yeah. lonesome. It's been happening a little more and more um, to me where my hands are just a little shaky. And, uh, and I think some of it is just stress. A lot of it is stress. But That's yeah, it, it happens and it sucks. And you go, is this going to be me forever? Um, okay. Raymond, there are videos on how to draw hands in the Art Hacks playlist. There is a video on Art Block, CHXRL, in the Art Hacks playlist. Um, Charlie, is what on Amazon? I'm, I don't understand what you're asking. Is the Zebra Brush Pen on Amazon? Is that what you're asking? Um, it should be everything's on Amazon um, what is or was your favorite live stream that I've done mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's any particular one is this all in frame okay yeah you're fine okay. I was gonna move it up for Gene Simmons is that's that... fine you can move it up a little bit okay yeah um, I enjoy doing the um, the lives with Kim Diaz home. Those are fun. The the Ink Monster ones, which mm -hmm. we're supposed to do one on Thursday. I have to confirm with him. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I liked doing the uh, the uh, the hair journal were fun they, they, I think what I liked about the hair journals is they were so creative mm -hmm. in that you know it was I wasn't just copying a photo and I liked that um, they want you to do the rest of the people from Queen they saw you do Freddie Mercury but they want to see the rest of them okay um, let's see I've been drawing mostly realism, but you inspired me to use watercolor and gouache in my art as well. Oh, great. What's your favorite KISS member? Have you ever heard of Alice Cooper? Greetings from Lisbon, Portugal. 
Uh, yes, I, I grew up with Alice Cooper too. Was never really too much of a fan of him, but um, uh, my favorite Kiss member growing up was Ace Frehley. Um, but I think now it's Paul Stanley. What pencil brand is best for drawing in your opinion, Scott? I don't have a preference. Um, I've been using Faber-Castell. Um, but... He's also been using the dollar pencils he finds at the grocery store. Yeah. Too, so he will draw with pretty much anything at this point. Sarah Animations got some Arches watercolor paper in 100% cotton because it was on sale. I just Ooh. had to. Ooh, have fun. They want Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin. Scott I did Duke. draw the entire band of Led Zeppelin for um, one do, of our followers. It do was all a... artists have to learn realistic art style because I am insecure and I can't draw in that style? No, 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 no. Um, what, what you want to do, though, is you want to learn to draw from life. You, to... Um, and, and again, it's not a must, but you become a better... Remember the draw everything every day that we were talking about? Yep. It will just get you to start seeing the world. And since we live in this particular world, that's the only world that you really have to, to work from. Um, and so I, I just recommend you drawing from this particular world that we happen to be a part of. Uh, you, you don't have to call it realism and you don't have to draw realistically, but you really just want to get used to drawing the world around you. Um, it'll teach you shapes, it'll teach you light and shadow and uh, form and function. That's really it. Mushroom, for blending and layering with alcohol markers, Go to the marker playlist. There are tons of videos there that will show you how to blend with with uh, markers. Okay, I'm just what, outlining because I think I'm going to put all of this in black. What do you think about doing still life for watercolor? Still life and watercolor go hand in hand. They're really, really great. And are you going to do any painting on this with watercolor or do you think you're just going to use the black markers? No, I think I'm going to do a little bit because there's like Peter Chris has a little bit of green and there's, you know, red lips and things like that. So I think it'll be very light. And then there is some shape, some shadowing, you know, I'm not going to mm -hmm. keep it too. So it'll be some paints gray and some blues. It'll be uh, honestly, it's 930. I'll probably have this done before 10. It, it, this will be a very quick piece. I'll be the judge of that. Yes. Uh, Cheska, how do I send fan mail and fan art? You're very sweet. We have a P.O. box, and perhaps our mods could put that in there for you. That would be great. Yeah, I will say um, a couple of you have tracked down our home address, and I would say probably not the nicest thing to do is to um stock someone's home address so yeah if you ever wanted to send us something please do ask for the p.o box uh what kind of paper are you using right now this is the strathmore paper the two dollar 94 cent on sale from uh, plaza art that i got that i that i didn't like because it messed up harry styles do we shop at Michael's? OMG, are you kidding? We shop at Michael's. We love Michael's. They have coupons and sales. Can you do a tutorial on eyes, lips, and noses? Anita, if you go to the Art Hacks playlist, also Kiwi for drawing lips, go to the Art Hacks playlist and start there. There's eyes, ears, lips, face shapes, all sorts of things in the Art Hacks playlist that you'll find. Tis Complicated asks, what would you say to a young child seeking art guidance from you? Um, draw everything every day. That is the, the thing that I usually say. Mm. 
Nikki says, my desire to create art is not as great as my desire to acquire every art supply ever made. <laughs> You're funny. What pen are you using right now? This is a zebra brush pen. It is waterproof, which means I can... Um, paint over it later. What would be the best paper for working with gouache? My paper keeps warping. Oh, um, your paper is going to warp. That's just what it's going to do. I like watercolor paper. I like um, uh, hot press watercolor paper. doesn't matter what brand. Um, but it is going to warp. You just have to tape it down. Um, our day so far is going fine. I mean, we are... Uh, it's early. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot a lot of uh, places for it to go, but today is a uh, President's Day in the United States. So, uh the post office is closed and some of the kids are out of school and, you know, we don't we're not doing anything because we don't have kids in school anymore. We have kids in yeah. college. So, uh we will just do our usual Oh, you know what? We forgot to leave milk and cookies out for the presidents when they come down the chimney. <laughs> Oh God, you're so funny. Okay. Um, have you heard of Kokio Camlin Art Supplies? No, but I have Camlin heard of... sounds familiar, but... Yeah, but Kokio does Japanese uh, stationery, and I have heard of them. And um, yeah, they do it. They have a huge thing. Um, let's see. Did you make the cup on the table on the right? Did you like? Did you make the pottery cup right there? Oh no, there's a video on it. That mm -hmm. was done by a friend of mine, Lisa Asano. Mm -hmm. We, um, I did a painting of her, and she sent me. Um, a, uh, she does pottery. She she sent me that, mm -hmm. so I use it every day for my watercolors yep. now. He does indeed. Scott, my name is Alita, and I'm working on improving my skills with ink. I currently use Windsor and Newton inks. Is there another brand you'd recommend, or any tips or techniques? Um, it, I'm assuming that the inks are colored inks, um, unless you're talking about, you're just saying just inking, um, but, uh, the inks that I use, what were they, they were using Windsor Newton? Mm -hmm. using I, Newton. I think Windsor Newton's like my favorite brand. Mm -hmm. Um, I have Dr. Martin's inks. Colored inks, mm -hmm. um, and then I also have um, Liquitex inks. These are pretty good too. And then for just black and white inks or, or slightly colored inks, I use the Higgins. And but I, I'd love to try Windsor and Newton. And for some of my friends who think that those inks can go into a fountain pen, please read the side of the bottle. Scott tried to give me some inks at one point to put in my fountain pen, and when you read the side of the bottle, they have something in them they cannot go in a fountain pen. So just a little heads up for my fountain pen aficionados. We're still waiting for Donna to pick her day and what she wants to do with talking about her journaling supplies too. Oh boy, yes, we have to do that. I will do that today. Uh, Scott did draw Wednesday Adams from the Netflix series. Twice. Yep, he did. Um, what is your wife's name and does she do art? Uh, that is Donna. And she's actually working on a beautiful piece upstairs um, in acrylics. It's a paint by number. It's a paint by number. Yeah, but... I, am, I am not that... That could. Um, Blanca, question, what is the best bag for art supplies? I'm going to say I would like to carry pencils and pens, alcohol markers, colored pencils, and two sketchbooks. Have any ideas? Um, I think, I mean, I, I searched high and low to find the one that mm -hmm. I got, which was my Swiss Medic bag, mm -hmm. which is an old bag that I just repurposed. Mm -hmm. I think you really have to look for something that... Mm -hmm. uh, makes you happy i haven't found a bag that like is from a particular company that i would recommend 
if you want to look for a Swiss medic bag, I would suggest like a army surplus store. They have a lot of different things there. You can go to Goodwill. You can look around different places. Yeah, but you can also, go to like, things. I got a backpack off of eBay. Yeah, he got um, a couple more off of Amazon you know, too. He, yeah, I'm sorry, Amazon. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, so I mean, you know, you can just look and see. But mm-hmm. honestly, it's trial and error. Yeah, you know, Bring, go, go go shopping. Yeah, go to like you know, go to thrift stores, Marshalls, you can... or you know, TJ Maxx or something. Buy a few bags. Bring them home. Don't take the tags off. Try to put all your stuff in and see if you like it. And carry it around the house. And if you don't like it, return it. Yeah. Um, have you ever done a breakdown of your sketching process for sketching portraits? I'm trying to follow a method from Proco, but I'm struggling to get proportions right. Um, there are. There's an Art Hacks playlist, and I have, like, here's how to do that. Here's how I do the head. Here's how I do eyes. Here's how I do nose. Here's how yeah. I do ears. It should all be in the Art Hacks playlist. Mm-hmm. Would you guys ever consider making duo art together for your anniversary or something? I was also wondering if you'd make digital days every month or so where you try to remake or create new art digitally. Ooh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get back into how to get into digital. Yeah, and we're trying to figure out how to get the digital stuff to be projected onto a live because i know you guys would like to see him work on that live we have a certain setup for the art desk but it would be super hard to move it all over to the computer so i don't know how to we're, we'll work on that but that might take some time and yes please if anybody is joining the discord um read the rules and wait for the mods because our friends, the mods are all of our, our friends, and they not only help us here, but they help us on the Discord as well. Um, and um, we can't give out roles, roles while we're alive because we don't have enough hands and no one's getting paid. So um, they'll, they'll let you in as soon as we're done. Terry says, hey, thank you for helping me through my parents' divorce. Love y'all welcoming channel. Oh, oh Terry, I'm so sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry, yeah. But I'm I'm glad that uh, that you can come here and find a little bit of solace. <laughs> Stefanard says that she's been playing around with different bags for years and has yet to find the perfect one. You know, it is, just it is a, a struggle. Yeah, it's just trial and error. I'm still looking for a writer's. I had a writer's bag and I didn't use it. A really nice leather one that Scott bought me and I we ended up selling it because I just didn't use it. It wasn't working for me. Um, do you think drawing at night is easier and do you teach art classes often? Um, I don't teach art classes ever and I actually like drawing in the morning better. But I, I am, I am. That didn't from used what to I'm, be true. Well, no, I, I drew at night because I was wait. I was always the last minute. I was in college, you know, I was like, oh, I've got an assignment tonight or tomorrow and I would stay up all night, but I didn't do it because I wanted to. Oh, we lost Donna. No, I got a text from something stupid, unimportant. Um, You are the greatest and nicest person on earth. Every time I'm kind of down, I watch your videos because you make me happy with your positivity. You are very kind. Thank you. Well, that made me very happy. That's very sweet. Scott's been uh, having a little bit of a hard time lately. And uh, just being here with you guys makes us both happy. Yeah. Love dryer. I got to do all of the little spots of color first because once I start doing the inking, oh, the yeah, water's going to be just It's going to too... be mud. Yeah, be so gross. I'm just yeah. going to do this real quick. Um, Scott didn't have a favorite subject in school. Yeah, recess. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ Yoshi says, hi, Scott and Donna. I'm getting into better animation and I'm very proud of how I'm doing so far. Good for you. 
It's great. You guys are my idols for art. By the way, red pandas are one of my favorite animals. Don't oh. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I know. They're just so darn cute. I'm telling you. All right. So Next ready? time, I'm going to put one of them in my pocket. Take it um, home with me. I am going to do two things. One, I am not going to use my newer, fresher paint brushes. I'm going to use the older ones this and i'm going to make sure i use the waterproof version oh please make sure it's waterproof this time good lord this one is almost empty so i might have to go into a new one but please don't go. don't open that over the painting pretty please i'm begging you please don't i recently saw somebody saying you shouldn't dump your watercolor water down the sink i always have what do you do that was my friend leslie actually and um i dump it outside but i just throw it onto the you know uh, onto the he opens up the, asphalt yeah, yeah just we dump it i don't know I'm... but anyway i don't do it for any health reasons i just do it because from what I understand, watercolor is not very toxic in no. any way. Like, you could drink it. Well, the cadmium colors. Yeah, and, and I don't use cadmium. No. Because those are toxic, yeah. Yeah, we don't use those anymore. The short you posted with you of drawing, with your drawing of Donna was just charming, and your message to get the bad art out made me laugh so much. Thanks for being so encouraging to artists young and oh. old. Oh, you're My cute. pleasure. You're cute. I have been drawn so many times over the years. What's your favorite thing to draw? Hair. A lot of our friends on here today are having trouble drawing proportions. Um, um, give them some tips, will you? Because Elijah's asking, but there's been a lot of people having problems with proportions today. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't feel like I'm uniquely qualified or anything just because I never really felt that my proportions were great either. Um, that's why I always recommend the How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way book. It's just really good about that. And I would always refer to that when I was not feeling great about my proportions. But that that's that's at least what I would you know I would do is there is I think there's a video on proportions and drawing dynamic poses and stuff, but again, I'm just recommending that book. And for those of you who can't afford the book, I think I pinned in the comments a link to a PDF so you could just download it for free. Um, Terry says, oh, first of all, Andrew Gaming Gravity Dolphins sent you a very nice tip and asked, how's your day? Thank you very much. My day just got a little brighter, thanks to you. Um, Terry says, thank you for helping me through my anxiety. You guys feel like another set of grandparents. Oh, Aww, thank honey, you. honey, look, I'm a grandma with you. No, you're not the only old one. Terry, 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 what can I tell you? Um, anxiety is a thing. It is. And uh, I battle that pretty much every doggone day. You are not alone, my friend. You are not alone. But you know what? We can do this. And it's okay. And sometimes it's okay to throw the blanket back over your head and say, nope, not doing it. That's okay, too. Jamie says, fun fact, I work with Alice Cooper's niece. Seriously? Oh, that's great. That's crazy. Um, that would have been important information for like, hey, my name is Jamie yeah. and I work with Alice so, Cooper's niece. Our friend Drew Struzan who's one of my idols, mm. did one of Alice Cooper's album covers. Did he really? Yeah, remember the J.C. Liondecker looking one? Oh my God. Drew's done everything. He really has. God, he's just iconic. Um, my username, Kuzia, says, Hi, Scott. For a long time, I've done mostly just digital art, but I really want to get into painting and such. Any tips? Also, I love your art and vids. Oh, thank you. Um, my... my I think the, the the most common response I have to something like that is to carry a journal and fill it up every day with the world around you. Mm -hmm. um, I think so many people feel that they have to create a work of art, like a masterpiece, something that's going to go up into a gallery. But I think the greatest thing you could do for yourself is to fill up a sketchbook with just your daily life and... It's so much more personal and it's so mm -hmm. much more meaningful. 
and you wind up drawing so many different things rather than, you know, whatever your thing is. Mm -hmm. um, Cozy Comet is here. First stream they could make in a while because of school. They love your art so much, and you keep me on my toes, Scott. Oh, thank you. Just wanted to say you really helped me get back into art and watercolor, so thank you. That's author. Oh, thank you. Um, we know you've tried oil pastels, but have you tried soft pastels? I have. Mm -hmm. I have. I did in, in He doesn't like those. College. Either. No, I like the soft pastels. Those mm -hmm. are good, but they're just they get really messy. Um Yes, the Grabby book is sixteen dollars, but we have a discount code you can use on there too. Um I think it's like Scott fifteen or Scott ten or something. Anyways, if you go on our website you can um you can see it. But again, if you can find the the Be Creative sketchbook, that's 100% cotton, and that's my favorite. That's really hard to find for a lot of people, though. It's really hard to find. Um, hello, my name is Nolan. I'm 10, and I love drawing. Hi, Nolan. You it's go, nice Nolan. to meet you. We're happy you're here. Just wanted to pop in as a lurker to say thank you for re-sparking my love for watercolors because I stumbled upon your shorts. Thank you so much. That's Gravity. Oh, thank you, Gravity. Thanks for be lurking for me. Never feel like you can't ask a question. Um, if you left, I don't know if I have answered your questions because you left. Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven. <laughs> Here's a question. Yes, we both like Guns N' Roses. Did you get... Um... Okay, I'm going to reword this question and then, um, and then ask it. Um, are you naturally talented or did you develop your talent in art? Uh, both. I had natural talent. Um, I was born with some talent, you know. I mean, uh, I could pick up a paint, you know, pick up a pencil and draw. Uh, the rest of it is all just dedication. Um, you know, there's, there were, as there were probably half a dozen other really talented kids in my school, like in elementary school and junior high mm -hmm. who were way better than me and they're insurance salesmen now and whatever else, you know, you might, See, they, they didn't pursue it. They didn't keep so drawing. So talent mm -hmm. is just your starting off point, you know. It, it's it's kind of like um, you might have someone in your school who's really tall. And so you guys join the basketball team. And they just, it's come so easy for them because they're tall. And, uh, but they go off to be a lawyer. But you love basketball. And you decide to just make it your thing and you go pro. Um, had you had their height, you would have been a better basketball player. But that height didn't make you the, the better basketball player. It was all of the the love for the game, the, the dedication, the years that you put into it that really made that happen. That just would have given you that extra little boost. And that's really what it is, is my, my, um, the talent that I was born with, um, made me a little better, but it, it was really the passion and the dedication that made me who I am today. Okay. So Butterfly Girl has an art assignment due in a few weeks and only a few more lessons to complete it. What do you recommend I do to manage my time better to complete this and still achieve my best result? What I like to do is um, break things down into little bits. So, And by the I way, had... Scott is really, really great at this. He takes big things and makes them easier. Yeah. Say I had four days to do this piece. I would do one character a day. You know, um, so if you have 10 days, break it up into 10 pieces. Um, and I would also just knowing that if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Break it down to eight pieces. Give yourself two days of, of 
you know, chance for something to go wrong or a chance to tweak it or something else. But the point is, is that break it up into bite-sized things. And I don't know if that's a autism thing or, or what, but it works for me to not try to see something as a whole. Like, okay, I've got to finish this whole entire painting. Mm -hmm. It's better for me to say, okay, first I got to get the pencils done. So I'm going to do the pencils on one day. And then the next day I'm going to, because I'm, I'm also dealing with a short attention span. And, um, I think it's overwhelming for a lot of people yeah. to, to do things like that. So I think for whether you're neurodivergent or not, I think your, um, your suggestions are very helpful. And I speak personally from myself for that, because that, these are some things that he's said that have helped me over the years because I tend to get overwhelmed very easily and it helps me a lot too. So you don't just have to be neurodivergent. You can just be anybody. And um, anyway, what's your favorite thing to draw? Hair. What are your favorite videos with drawing tips? Um, I don't look at other people's videos for drawing tips. It's just never been my thing. Um, I, I uh, so I don't really have any or other artists that I, I, I go to for drawing tips. I, I do have other artists that I follow that I like, you know, talking to or, or, or watching their videos, but I can't really say that I have a drawing tips video that is my favorite. Okay, I am trying to get to all of you today, but uh, there's 475 of you here right now, and you guys all have great, great questions. So, um, I apologize if I don't get to all of you. Um, yes, we do like Queen. Um, yeah. uh, K Lover Love says, I deal with low patience, so how can I learn to be more patient to make my own art better? Oh boy, I deal with low patience as well. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but you won't be able to see your art improve any more than you can see yourself grow physically you know it is just one of those things where you have to trust that it's happening and it's frustrating i know but it it's slow all right um what mistakes would you have wished to not have done when you were young that is budding hands. And I don't think we have enough time for that for me, so I'll defer. Uh, for me, it would be drawing this, my same original character over and over and over again. I wish I would have taken my current advice, which is to draw everything every day. Instead, fill a journal. Mm -hmm. um, I would have pursued something in school that I liked better. Um, I was encouraged to do something where I could get a good job and I am not blaming anybody. Um, but I could have done something that I liked better. Um, and at the time I just didn't have the encouragement. Correct. Thank you to pick something that I would have enjoyed more. And I think, um, if I could go back and change one thing, I would have done that. She could have been a star. I could have. Well, I am now. I am an actress now, you know that. Um, what store would you recommend for good quality acrylic paints? Uh, we get uh, most of our stuff from Blick. Yeah, I mean, Blick or it, it, our local art store, um, Plaza Art, we get stuff there too. Um, yeah, I mean, I... A local art store really is going to be a good place for you to go and just look and see. And you can talk to them and they, the people at our art store here, they're so knowledgeable. If you're looking for something specific or whatever, they're really great. Yeah. And on a side note, speaking of great, I don't know why this popped into my head. I have absolutely zero idea. But um, I was writing on this new kind of paper yesterday with 
a fountain pen. And I thought, geez, I wonder if this is going to go through the paper or if it's going to be whatever. And the Toma River paper, which I know they're discontinuing and they're coming out with a new brand of the Toma River paper. For my journaling people, um, stunning with a fountain pen. Absolutely stunning. No clue. I, had, I just, I thought it would bleed and it doesn't bleed. So anyway, um, major skew. Um, have you ever painted Weird Al? I don't think you've ever painted Weird Al. No, I have not. Yeah. Okay, so the pen he was using was a zebra brush pen. The ink that you're using right now is what kind of ink? Higgins Waterproof Ink. There you go. Um, J uh, Jerry's Artorama Online has Be Creative watercolor pads. Well, that's great. That's good to know. That is good to know. Thank you for that, Deborah. We appreciate that. Um, honey, who do you main in Overwatch? Reinhardt. Squishmallow Girl, do you think anything is possible? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess anything is possible. Uh, there's so much we don't know about the universe. My question would be, in what aspect? Do I think it's possible for me to do anything I want to do? Do I think it's possible for... I don't know. What, what exactly are you asking? Would be my question back to you. Hi, Mr. Scott. This is my first time on one of your streams, and I'm 13. This is Zachary B. Welcome. I'm also an artist, and your advice has really helped me a lot through watercolor paintings. Welcome. That's fantastic. I love to hear that. Happy Monday. Yeah, we're excited you're here. Um, let's see. Um, 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 um. Have you ever explored an abandoned building before? Um, I don't think so. I'm always afraid they're haunted. Magda says, hello, my name is Emma. I'm 11 and you're my inspiration for what I love. Oh, thank you. Welcome. You guys, there's a lot of you here today. A lot of, a lot of you maybe are off school or something. Former acrylic artist, you've sparked a new love for watercolor, a medium I could never figure out before. Now they're my favorite to work with, and I've been commissioned to do two dog portraits. Oh, I love that. That's great. That's Alargus. That's exciting. We have some uh, some young ones here today. I have to get ready for class, but it's always nice to wake up to your streams on school mornings. Oh, Aww. we're excited for you. That's great. Have a great day. Mari says, hello, just wanted to say thank you because my relationship with my own art has improved from watching your videos and I'm really grateful. I love that. I love that you have um, described as a relationship with their art. That's yeah. Great. That really is what it is though. It's a relationship with it, isn't it? Love, hate, relationship. Yeah. Um, hi, Scott and Donna, I'm Adrian. Have you ever tried a blending medium? I'm working on a big acrylic painting right now and I think it would come in handy. Um, I don't think I have, no. Bethany Primrose, have you worked with the blending medium? I'm assuming that you have. Um, cozy Sketches, Scott has a um, tons of original characters that he's come up with. Um, Animal Crackers was all original characters. Um, he's also done a webcomic um, called The Dreamlight Chronicles. And you can find that at thedreamlandchronicles.com, and it's free to read. You can read it there. Um, but those are all his original characters. Okay. We should play Stardew Valley together. It's an amazing game fit for everyone. All right, I'll look into that. I've never heard of that. I'm huh. going to need Bean to... Boy. Oh, if only. Bean Boy asks, how do you know when to stop adding details and just leave your art how it is? Sometimes I find myself creating something I really like, but add small details, which I end up not liking after I'm done. Um, it happens to all of us. Just after a while, you, you, you either A, learn when to stop, or B, learn how to fix it when you go over. So you might go, oh, nope, that was too much. And you can go back in with gouache or something like that and, mm -hmm. and clean it up. Oh, you know what? I have one. Um, Aventurine says, do you guys have any dream travel destinations? Oh, we have a ton. We have a list longer than my arm. I wish, um, God, you know, I, I wish we could just go. 
I really do, but it's so expensive to travel. Gosh. Um, but yeah, we have so many places we want to see. Some we were just talking yesterday. Um, there's the um, in Prague. We want to go see the Mucha Museum, Alphonse Mucha, and there's an atomic clock we want to go see. Well, I want to go see. Um, and then architecture, and we were talking about Switzerland, and we were talking about Germany, and we were talking about Scandinavia, and we were talking about. Um, there's just there's so many places we want to go. We we've, yeah. we've only been to maybe a couple of handfuls of places, maybe. Um, yeah, there's just gosh, there's so much beauty in the world. All right, we want so to go see it all. See how dark the water is i gotta go get more water oh do you want me to go do it uh, yeah, nope i do not mind okay so um tell everybody that the evolution about the evolution of your art and the you know my art is a mosaic oh that is disgusting <laughs> well, I gotta this out oh boy oh. evolution of my art oh gosh no there are artists that I um, idolized and you go gosh I really like how they do X um, and then you add that to your art that's I think sometimes people feel that that is a sacred thing like well they're the ones who who adds an outline to their art or they're the ones who puts a circle in the background i can't do that because then everybody will think i'm copying them but i promise you they got it from somebody else and so it's just it's kind of like um styles that are passed down from generation to generation and you're just taking it and you're not taking one person's style you're taking a whole bunch of people's styles and i think that's what you have to remember is um find three four five different artists that you really like copy what it is about their work that you really like and that will become your style and your style will be unique it's kind of like i guess if it was music you like to see the way a certain guitar sounded from one band and the way a singer sang from another band and the way the drums sounded from, you know, and that becomes your sound. It's not, hey, we're completely copying this one band. You're taking a little bit from a whole bunch of different artists. Okay, Gail. Oh. <laughs> Gail, you're so sweet. You are so sweet. Um, Gail wants to send me a tote bag with a red panda on it. You're so cute. Can one of the mods, can you, um, can you please, um, get with Gail on that one? You're so sweet, Gail. Thank you. Has Scott ever tried carving wood or cooking? Those are, um, <laughs> um <laughs> that's has, has funny. Scott, has Scott ever tried sculpting or spelunking? <laughs> um, but, uh, oh God, that's funny. I don't think I've tried carving wood, no, but, um, yeah, I have cooked. Yeah, that's funny. He doesn't do it well, but he has. I mean, I love you. I mean, let's be just be honest. I don't think you do. Mm, I do. Um, do we have a Santa in the chat? People are telling me we have a Santa in the chat. Good morning. Going back to Scott's youth on this one, says Santa. Oh, hey, Santa. Good morning. That is correct. My goodness sakes. That so Santa true. gave Donna, like, <gasps> the greatest gift ever I, yesterday. Um, <laughs> I'm still, um, yeah, I'm still a little speechless. <laughs> so, so for, if any of you remember I, um, I'm, last yeah. Friday... Um, what do we, someone asked us if we liked hockey or something or our something favorite sport like that, or whatever yeah. it might be and and I, and we mentioned that Donna's mm -hmm. favorite hockey player was mm -hmm. Tamu Solani. Correct. That she wanted to name uh, one of our boys Tamu. Correct. She well, loved Brendan, him so much. Brendan was almost yeah. Tamu. And uh, poor kid. Last night we we logged I, on to Instagram and, I, and I, Santa had 
got Tamu Salani yeah. to send yeah, Donna to, a to, video. A, a message. Yeah, th- with the and, and I, she's still speechless. I, I, <laughs> I sat there with my mouth open. She's and like, I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> For like ten minutes, I sat there just like, I, how does he? He's magic. He's magic. I was like, oh my gosh. Just absolutely in- yeah. incredible. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, still. You what can, Donna's trying to say is thank you. Yes, Santa. I don't even. I. I yeah. The, mwah, big love. I, t- I don't even know what he, I was just like, I'm still. Anyway, okay. <coughs> Yeah, Letter Lady Z says Santa is magic. Yeah, Nixie Adonna fangirling. I swear, it's like, it's, it's, yeah. Here, I will show you guys. Out of control. Out of control. Like, just, just. Look. A, I... It was on a hip. Hope all is well. Hi, Donna. It's a there was on a hip. Hope all is well and greetings from Finland. We are here in the lap. How amazing is I, that? I just, I just, like, hello. I, I. I got nothing. I still, I got nothing. Yeah, I watched it like three times this morning before I got out of bed. Yeah, I did. I was like, uh. <coughs> um, Mortify says, I'm 14 and can't have Discord. Are there any other ways to share my art? Um, it, yes. If you, you, well, you obviously have a YouTube account. You're mm-hmm. more than welcome to post a video of your art or even put tag them in, us or you can put them in your community section on your page yeah, and then that. tag me mm-hmm. that would be great yeah santa i don't even <laughs> i'm cute when i'm speechless <laughs> you guys are funny um yeah santa's a miracle worker he you guys just please go follow him give him some love on on youtube and he's got the cutest stories and he's just I the most sweet kind thoughtful person on the whole planet just really really um yeah so sweet anyway yeah i'm a little i'm a little <clears throat> yeah nixie was right donna fangirling just just seriously um have we ever visited the uk yes but we did not get outside of went to london and windsor we but we haven't been farther out than that and we need to um Let's see. Hi, my name is Laurel and I am 12 and I love art. I would love to do art when I'm older, but I'm not sure if I could succeed and make a living. Do you have any tips to help? Well, well hold on. First of all, Laurel, wow that you're 12 and you're thinking about what you want to do when you grow up, which is awesome. And I'm super proud of you. Now you may continue. Okay. That was a smooth um, You don't have to make a career of art. Art could be your passion. Art could be something that you do. I would stick with journaling for now sketch the world around you write notes about the things that you do Mm -hmm. the places that you go take a sketchbook with you and if that blossoms into you wanting to learn to paint and to make you know art or maybe you like character design you want to get into movies or video games there's tons of careers but for now just draw just draw every day just draw everything you see every day that'll be a great start you're only 12 you have Tons of time mm-hmm. to figure that part out. Mm-hmm. Oh, but in the meantime, keep drawing. Okay. Have you ever drawn Elton John? Yeah. Okay. A couple times. Okay. I don't remember that. Um, oh my God. We love Harry Potter. Who's your favorite character? Sirius Black. Um, would you ever come to Australia? Okay, at one point I wanted to go to Australia, but then there was the whole Huntsman Spider thing. So I, 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 I don't know. I think know. the fact that everything in Australia is trying to kill you. Pretty but much, yeah, that's, yeah. You yeah. know, but we did get to yeah. meet the cassowary, which was very nice. I know. Sigh, the cassowary was very nice. Um... A question from my sister who is 10. Do you like Posca markers? Uh, I did try Posca markers Mm -hmm. and they were okay. Um, I use them from time to time when I need like a really good sharp line, but I didn't like drawing with them. If you look, I did um, My Hero Academia Mm -hmm. with Posca markers and, Mm -hmm. and it was okay. 
It was okay. Scott doesn't like it that you have to press them down. And shake them all the time. And shake them to get the ink to go. He just wants to be able to uncap it and use it. He's very impatient that way. I mean, it would drive me crazy after a while, too. I I don't think I would enjoy it. Blow dryer. Um, the, um, webcomic is The Dreamland Chronicles. Oh, there you go. Nixia put it in. Thanks, Nixia. Sorry, I missed that one. Um, yes, we have a rescue dog. Her name is Arwen. She's wonderful. She's old now. She's a very old lady. And, uh, she's, she's on medication because she's old, but she's a sweet pea. You might hear her hacking and coughing underneath. Yeah, she, she makes all these funky noises and all the things. Old people I actually, Scott actually had to give me, (laughs) you know, the, this, the face mask with the ear plugs on, earmuffs on the side of it. So I can actually listen to white noise because she keeps me up all night. So I am starting to sleep now, which is great. Um, but yeah, she's an old lady. Makes all the old lady noises. Um, you have tried blending stumps before. Yeah. Okay. There have been numerous people on here who have asked how to start a YouTube channel. And there, some of them are younger, some of them are older, runs the gamut, but they want to put their art up and they want to start a YouTube channel. Um, I don't, it doesn't cost anything to start a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. If you're asking how to make it successful... Um, it's a lot of work. That well, it's it's a, it is a lot of work, but it's also a lot of luck. And I want you guys to know that that it is not whether your channel is successful or not has nothing to do. No, I don't want to say nothing. Has fifty percent of it to do with how hard you work and how mm-hmm. talented you are. The other fifty percent is just pure luck. Mm-hmm. Um, the algorithm picks you. Uh, the right people see it, et cetera, et cetera. So mm-hmm. please keep that in mind because I have so many friends who are so incredibly talented who just can't get traction on YouTube. And th- that's just I mean, the fact that I have a million and a half followers is complete luck. So please keep that in mind. It's not because I know a lot of people put your, 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 your self-worth based on the number of followers that you have. And that's a horrible thing to do. Um, and, and, and I do it too. It's just human nature. But um, just just know that so much of it is luck. Blow dryer. I'm Anna and I'm 11. What supplies do you recommend that are under $25? Um, paper and pencil. Mm-hmm. That is the thing you, you need the most. Um, there's a video I did that says that was um, making art shouldn't make you broke. Yeah. And uh, okay. and that is my, my, my best advice would be that. Mm-hmm. Do not worry about all the fancy stuff. Don't worry about color. Don't worry about paint. Just draw. Mm-hmm. Just, just get good Paper at drawing. Paper and a pencil. That's it. That's all you yeah. need. Beth says, hey, Scott and Donna, just wanted to say how much you've inspired my art journey, and I love how you make art affordable to everyone. Oh, oh fantastic. Thank you. Beth, that's very sweet. That makes me very happy. We're trying, you guys. We're trying. We are trying. <laughs> um, I think it's Violet. They're using the numbers instead of um, letters. I've been watching the stream since the start, and I love how it's getting along. Oh, thank you. Um, gosh, you guys, so many great questions today. If I missed any of your questions, please, please, please put them back in. There are so many of you. There's 428 of you still, and the questions keep a coming, which is great. But if I missed any, please, please, please um, put them back in. Hey, Dana Mercury's here this morning. Hey, Dana Mercury. Hi, friend. I am, like I said, this one is really <laughs> going to be a simple one. It's funny, though. It's actually 1019, so I think I'm milking it. Anna said, pa- Scott said, paper and a pencil. Paper and a pencil is what you need. Paper and a pencil. That's it. To start, paper and a pencil. 
I love your art so much. It inspires me and taught me a lot about art as a 13 year old artist. No one really wants to help you. So thank you so much. Oh, gosh, pleasure. I don't know why people wouldn't want to help you, but I'm glad we're here for you. You know, I'm, I'm glad we can help. Um, Ruby says, hello, Donna, Scott and mods and maybe Santa checking in from Vietnam. I'm watching this to fall asleep. Why do some artists draw beautiful things and others draw things that are scary? I think different uh, people like different things. Um, oh, my, yeah. My friend Kim, Kim Diaz home. He draws yeah, ink, ink monsters. monsters. And uh, yeah. and I like Art Nouveau pretty things, you know. Exactly. Um, we're just different. Some, some of it is um, like, for instance, we have twins. Mm -hmm. They're born same time. Yep. You know, they grew up around the same thing. Same parents. One likes trains. Yep. and engineering the others like sports and animals, animals. Mm -hmm. it's just it's, it's, how you're it's, built. In our, it's in our biology yeah it's just and how you're so built. I, I would say just yeah. i think and i think that's what's wonderful about art is it's as diverse as the people are yeah oh my gosh beth wants to know if we've been to scotland i love your art but do you have any tips or experiences with set making for a show or theater um, our I do. son does, yeah. I do. I have done stuff with one of our boys who <clears throat> has been, uh, he stage managed and was in plays for years. Um, yeah. What are you working on? And we made stuff out of nothing. I mean, twist ties and Ziploc bags. I mean, we made stuff. <laughs> That's what high school theater is <laughs> yeah, all about. It know? was great. Middle school theater, high school theater community theater yeah australia is amazing seriously huntsman spiders are pretty much harmless and you shouldn't let your fear of a spider stop you from coming to such a beautiful place there are spiders everywhere anyway yes um like the amazon which i've also told my son at one point he said mom will you go to the amazon with me and i said sure and then i realized that they have tarantulas the size of dinner plates and i said um no Tarantulas, don't worry. It's the piranhas that are going to get you. Oh, no. There's a few people I could throw in the piranha pit. Sorry, Santa. Don't hear that. Don't listen to that one. Why? You got to throw um, Santa in there? No, bad people. But then I'm on the naughty list if I throw oh, bad okay. people in with the piranhas. See, then I'm on the naughty list. Um, But, um, yeah, I just can't. I... I I don't know what it is. There's... there's I'm, I'm usually I'm okay with things, you know, but I, I just... I spiders never i've never and i watched arachnophobia back in the what 90s thinking that would cure my spider fear it didn't oh no 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 made it worse no but i have this weird fascination so when we go to the zoo i always go and look at all of the spiders and then of course my boys jump up behind me and go boo and then i scream and then everybody inside looks at me like i'm a crazy lunatic but there you go but you're used to that um yeah, I mean, of course, everybody looks at me like I'm a lunatic. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever drawn any characters from the Titanic? And have you ever used gouache paint? I love gouache paint. I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, never drawn anybody from Titanic. Will you play Hogwarts Legacy? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I don't even know what that is. It's the, is it an MMO? Yeah, it's oh. it's like a... Oh, no, it's not an MMO. It's an open world uh, game. What's the difference between an open world and an MMO? MMO is uh, multiplayer. Right. Like WoW. Right. And open world is like Zelda. Oh. Or, or, or oh, Red Dead oh, Redemption oh, okay. or something. So you're, you're playing but you're not interacting with anybody else. Exactly. Okay, except the AIs. I got it. Okay. Learn something new every day. Can you give me a tip for organizing art supplies on a budget? Oh, I've got this one. I've got this one. So, Scott reuses candles that he's burnt the jars from the candles he doesn't even clean them out i personally would clean them out but he stands his markers and his paintbrushes and his pencils and all the things in these jars reuse things you have at home you know like drinking glasses that maybe has a chip in the side of it put a little piece of tape over it and just reuse that you know shoe boxes are great for reusing things for art supplies and shoe boxes by the way also uh you can lay out a washi tape in those very well you don't have to buy something specific for it. Um, you know, there are organizers you can buy at the store, but you don't have to. You can use things you have at home. Um, let's see. Have you watched Sam Does Art? 
I don't think you've watched uh, him. Yes, I, I follow Sam Desart. Very talented. Oh, May says, hi, I love all of your videos and thank you for making real and relatable art content. I'm entering my first competition and I was wondering if you have any tips. Oh, congratulations. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, no, uh, just remember, art competitions are, um, you know, one people, one person or a panel of judges it's deciding what is art and what isn't mm -hmm. or what is good and what isn't. Mm -hmm. Just please... You know, uh, um, and, and not to diminish anything if you win, you know, but I'm just saying just please go into it knowing that it's um, like a beauty contest, you know. It, it's it's what is beauty? What What is this? What is that? So um, put your best work out and enjoy the moment. Don't worry about the outcome. Just enjoy the moment. Mm-hmm. I put way too much. Shouldn't have put. Yeah, you really wet that down a lot. No, no, no. I'm saying there's there's still more. That that drop was. I, was I put two drops much. instead of one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm just gonna use it all. Have up. you ever tried any form of printmaking? Um, I think so. When when I was in high school, I think we had like, you know, things where the the the, pr the press with the lettering and everything like mm -hmm. that. The you know. Mm -hmm. I know Bethany's done printmaking. But um, I will also tell you that um, I personally have acquired from our friend on here, Fiber and Brimstone. Um, it's fiberandbrimstone.com is her website. And she makes the most beautiful prints. And she does all her own printmaking. And you can watch her videos. And she does it all online. And um, I have this awesome um, like scarf that she made. And it's teacups. And it's really cool. Well done. Marguerite from British Columbia says, the reason that I continue watching is that you are genuine. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. Marguerite's been here since the beginning. Marguerite's been here since TikTok. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marguerite. <laughs> yeah. Have you done any footballer drawings? I'm assuming that means soccer. Yes, I did Pele and Messi. Um, and then we had... Ash Dashing says, should I keep doing art as a main job or should I stop since it being risky and sometimes and then it trails off? Um, well, I mean, if it's if it's working for you, then yeah, keep doing it. We but, can't really tell you what to do. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I will say just, just know that um, every job, there used to be a time where um, there was security. In, in your career, you know, you knew that you'd be okay. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if that's possible in any career anymore. No. So um, if that's the case, you might as well love what you do. Well, that, that's my two cents. Yeah. I don't mm. think money is the thing that makes people happy. It Money makes things easier, which is definitely something that will make you happy. Mm -hmm. But... Um, think you know we only get one trip or you know one life so mm -hmm. to speak you do I, I would I would use it making the biggest impact on the world that you can and and try to do the things that you love don't live a life of regrets sometimes it's harder to do the thing that you want to do um Look and look, we we've we've been married for thirty years, and we have had our share of ups and downs, and hard times, and good times, and um, str serious struggles, you know, to to make ends meet. And um, but I think that's just life, you know. I don't think it's. I think sometimes it is harder when you're doing art, but I don't think anybody has it easy. I think everybody's always dealing with something. 
Yeah. You know, and I think it's just, it's how you tackle it. You know, if you keep, keep moving forward, keep trying to, you know, appreciate where you are in life, you know, regardless of, of what it is. I mean, there were years we couldn't, we had staycations every year because we didn't have enough money yeah. and, you know, and, and the library is your, I mean, I still love the library regardless, but, um, I don't know, you know, there, there's, you can have a good life on a budget, you know? Yeah. We did it. We did. We've done it for years, you know? You just have to have a good mindset, I think. And um, somebody had mentioned that sometimes they have anxiety and it makes it hard to get out of bed. And I get that. Yeah. I get that completely. But you know what? It's There's always something positive to look at, whether it's a flower in your neighborhood if you go for a walk, whether it's a sunset, whether it's, you know... A nice cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee or something you know I mean heck a cookie I mean I don't you know I mean I'm sure Santa would agree with me on that one but you know yeah um wow Tim wants to know if um, they can have tips on how to keep their painting and drawing area clean I wish I could help you on it's that. especially Mine hard is... when you're only 10 years old uh. <laughs> You're funny. The Scarlet King says, you were talking about a fountain pen before, and I'm writing a horror story about a cursed fountain pen. Oh. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, look, I don't personally have anything against Australia. I have something against spiders, okay? For those of you that keep asking, I have nothing against Australia. No, and I've Canada always, she doesn't like. I've always... Oh. <laughs> well, we all know I love Finland, so there you go. Um... All right, so this is low dryer. Hold up. Okay, so a couple things. No, Arwen was not crazy when she was a puppy. Um, she's always been a real mellow dog um, and really great dog. Um, there, I love Kirby. There's a video on art block in the art hacks playlist. Scott has done digital art. Um, you can see me in so many videos. It's ridiculous. You're not going to see me here. Um, Scott uses the blow dryer that he stole from me. It's not a specific kind of blow dryer. Um, Oh, stupendous is have, today is tech day for my school's production of Annie Jr. And I'm getting nervous for the performances. Any words of encouragement? Yes. You need a cookie before you get out there. Seriously, I'm not joking. I used to feed hundreds of kids before the, we would have our plays and they would have their throat coat tea and we'd have cookies and we'd have snacks and you need, you need a group of moms that are feeding you good snacks and you need a cookie. A cookie will help that. I cannot, yeah. White to come out of this. And just take a deep breath. Everybody that's in that audience wants to be there and wants to see you guys. And they're going to love you no matter what. They're going to love you. Trust me. Been there. Screamed at that. It was awesome. I love, really love your dog. So cute. Yeah, she's great. Uh, who is speaking? I don't know. Who's speaking, honey? <laughs> Not me. Um, current paint brushes, honey. Couldn't find them on the website. Oh, um, it should be under art supplies, but um, current ones are the Etcher Labs. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is the Uniball Signo pen. Which is just being a jerk today. <laughs> Look at that, it just won't. I'll work on this post-it, but I will not work on that. Maybe it doesn't like the ink. I'm dipping in water and see if that helps. We have a lot of people here today. A lot of people. Um, there are so many videos on how to blend uh, watercolors. How much time after you post Sorry. are you active in the comments? Okay, so when this goes live, um, yeah, we go upstairs and we're gonna eat some scones and we'll be back in the chat lately. This afternoon, probably. Um, 
You should try black paper that you scratch to get white. It is my favorite. Scratchboard. I love mm-hmm. scratchboard. I don't like the sound that scratchboard makes. It 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 gives me the mm-hmm. willies. I don't I don't like it. Um let's see. Is there a video for the digital art? Yes. Is there a art is there a there's two videos. There's two videos. Okay. Just just look up digital art. Have you tried toned watercolor paper? I picked up gray and beige paper from Plaza Art this week. Uh, no. I don't think I would ever try toned. Mm-mm. Yep. All right. I'm going to try the Artistro because my friend Stacy recommends it. But let's see. Um, are you okay with being in my profile book? I'm nine. I have no problem with that. Let's see. With my autism comes certain sensory sensitivities. Do you have any? Yeah. <laughs> Sound. We were just talking about smells, that yesterday. Yeah. Um, he can smell. Texture. Uh, he can smell uh, milk going bad from a mile away. Yeah. Mm. Princess K wants to know what kind of sketchbooks and watercolors do you recommend for a beginner? Uh, for, for a beginner, just drawing, I would say just any sketchbook, whatever cheap mm-hmm. one you can get your hand on and um, just a pen, just a pencil. Oh gosh. Okay. So heads and bodies, there are, um, okay, so that's not working. <laughs> Jeez. Blow dryer. colored pencil Hmm. Um, any advice on going to art school versus public school I'm trying to decide where I want to go um I mean I I will say this if you if if you have if you're going to school and you want to make art yeah an art school is going to be the best thing for you um You don't need to go to art school to be good at art or to make a career at art. But, I mean, the more you do something, the better you are going to get at it. Mm -hmm. So the less time you spend on math and history, uh, the more you're going to spend on art. That makes sense to me. That said, you might not want to do art for your career, in which case, you know, having all that... Training and art might not help you long term, whereas you could have just learned that stuff on the side. You should research some careers that you'd like to do in the future, and that will give you some help on which direction you want to take with certain things. Um, A. Williams says, I just want to say you've been such an inspiration to me the last year. I was burnt out after getting a minor in studio arts. Your videos have helped me remember why I love art in the first place. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Um, I'm an artist and having a hard time finding motivation. Do you have any words of advice that will help help me plow through? Um, There is a video on Mm -hmm. Art Block. Yep. I would recommend that. In the Art Hacks playlist. Mm-hmm. Anybody who's asking what to draw, it's, please draw Red Panda. Come on. Where are you guys from? Well, we're from here. We're in a hobbit hole in mm-hmm. Tennessee. Yep, that's where we are. Have you ever accidentally ripped apart one of your drawings? Nobody intentionally ripped up some drawings. <laughs> I've spilt ink on oh, them. Oh, that was scary. Not intentionally, but yeah. There's a video on it if you want to see it. It's in the, uh, the hair journal. Mm. So... <laughs> I, I, okay. I know it's, oh, it's already 1040, so I was going to say, but there's a part of me that wants to add more to this. It's, you know, feels like the black feels kind of boring kind of thing. And so, like, Flat. I was thinking of adding, like, just for squiggles, you know, like this. Mm-hmm. Give it some kind of texture. What do you guys think? You see it? Very, very faintly. Oh yeah, there we go. Sorry, the little. I like it. 
I like the squirrels. Yeah, just just to. <coughs> we have not been to Finland, but I'm gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> I told my cousin. I said, Donna's leaving me. She's going to Finland. I'll never see her again. So, so I'll have plenty of time to play golf with you yeah. because I got nothing else to do. How do you display watercolor paintings, and do they need a fixative or something? Good question. No fixative. Mm -hmm. um, not my thing. I wouldn't recommend a mm -hmm. fixative, but. Uh, I would say uh, I always display them in uh, uh, what do you call it? The UV museum glass. Yeah, it's it's, it's got to be UV protected mm -hmm. glass, and just keep them out of out of light, mm -hmm, out of the sunlight. If museum glass is very expensive, so if you have a painting that you really, really, really love, like Scott's um, Animal Crackers movie poster, we put behind museum glass, and we had it professionally framed. Um, but museum glass is UV coated and it's, you know, it's all of the things and there's no glare to it. So when you look at the piece, there won't be any glare, but, um, yeah, just mostly just keep things out of sunlight. You know, you could put it in a regular frame and keep it out of sunlight and you'll be, you'll be okay. Um, yeah, I think this texture just kind of looks a little better. What do you guys think? Everyone is loving Etcher lately. My grandpa played golf, but he got surgery on his leg and can't for six months. Oh, that's mm. going to kill him. Oh, my gosh. That's just so sad. Can you try calligraphy? He will not try calligraphy, and his handwriting is terrible. <laughs> I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. Um, let's see. All right. I think that that kind of helped a little bit. It just gave me a little bit of texture. Oh. Um, I've been very depressed lately, and watching your videos have helped me figure out something that helps me when I'm down. I never really drew before I found your videos, so I'm not that. Any advice? Journal. Write yeah. in a journal. That's what Donna does. Write it a, really helps. You, it's, it helps a lot. A lot. It's, it's been, it's been a, a saving grace for me and it, you don't need a special journal. You don't need a special pen. You don't need a special anything. You don't now need the question is, should I add one more color? Um, Ruby says, um, a question that makes me wonder, how do you guys deal with unpleasant comments? I try to either unengage or troll them back, but it's still so frustrating when people get confused and say something mean. Um, for my channel, and this is just a heads up for anybody who, mm -hmm you know, uh, comes on my channel. If you say anything um, homophobic or transphobic or mm -hmm. racist or anything like that, mm -hmm. I do not engage with you. I just simply hide you from the channel. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, that's it. You know, I don't ever have to talk to you. I don't ever have to. I'm not going to give you any kind of... Um, platform mm -hmm. for attention and and i recommend that you do that on yours don't engage you mm -hmm. don't need to uh engage with people people know that what they're saying is wrong people they're know that what they're saying yeah, they're trying to get attention mm -hmm. you don't owe them that mm -mm. you don't owe them that at all mm -mm. so just unhide or you know hide them from the channel mm -hmm. or block them yeah Okay, um, I did spend more time than I was going to, so there we go. You did. You thought you'd be done by now, I did. by, by I did. you know an hour ago or forty five minutes ago. So um, there we go. Mm -hmm. That is Kiss, Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, mm -hmm. Gene Simmons, and Peter Chris. There you go. All right. So are we done? We are done. Okay. Well, for the music oven. Monday. The oven is preheated. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and Nixia, sit. Nixia's, I love Nixie's comment. People that want to stir the pot can lick the spoon alone. Yeah. That's <laughs> Good true. job. You're right. I like that. Spot on, girl. I love that one. Okay, everybody. We are going to go have some breakfast because I did not eat this morning um, and I don't want to pass out. Our um, one's ready. Kelsey sent you a tip. Thank you, Kelsey. That was very sweet. Um, totally not necessary, but very sweet. And we're going to go. And thank you for being here with us today. And we will see you on Wednesday for Watercolor Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a marvelous Monday.